Hi, my name is Cody Diarkland, and I'm with the HashiCorp console team. And I'm here to take you on a tour of how to configure the HashiCorp console service on Azure with AKS and the new Azure CLI. When we log into the Azure portal, we can see that our HES environment is completely empty. If I go in and click around our environment, we'll see I'm not able to see any of the information within my cluster. Currently, we have no bootstrap token set, so we can't even access it. Let's go ahead and jump into the CLI and see how we can fix this. If I do an AZ HCS -H, I can see the help file associated with the HCS extension as part of the Azure CLI. We can see a number of the directives that allow us to execute tasks against our cluster, things like browsing our cluster, creating the bootstrap token, pulling out the Helm files, so on and so forth. In order to connect our Kubernetes cluster to HCS, we need to generate a bootstrap token and apply it as a secret to our Kubernetes environment. I'll go ahead and paste the command to create the secret here. And then we'll also include a cube control apply to directly pipe that result in and apply it directly to the cluster. We can see that our secret's been created in our Kubernetes cluster. And if we do a cube control get secrets, we can see that token in the top. By using the output Kubernetes secret flag on our create token command, it output an actual formatted secret that Kubernetes understood and is able to keep in the cluster for when we join our AKS environment to HCS. Now, aside from that bootstrap token secret, we also need a secret that contains the connectivity details for our environment, including the certificate and the gossip encryption key. I'll paste that command to create that. And similarly to how we did the previous one, I'll pipe this into kube control as well. As you can see, another secret has been created. And if we do a kube control get secrets again, We'll see the new secret in the list as well. Now that we have our secrets in place, we'll generate the Helm configuration that allows us to install a console in a fashion that's designed to connect to HCS. I've pasted the command in order to accomplish this, and that command will run and it print a copy of the configuration file to the screen. We actually want to send this into a configuration file, which I'll call config.yaml. If we take a look in our list, our configuration file is there. And if I cat it, we can see the configuration details within. With these configurations in place, we're ready to go ahead and install console on our AKS cluster. I'll go ahead and paste the command here, which is a simple helm install, including the helm file and calling the console repository from helm. We'll make one small change, naming our helm deployment, and we'll execute our command. Our install is completed running, and if we do a kube control git pods, we can see that our console pods are up and running, which means they've successfully joined our HCS environment. At this point, we can go ahead and input the command to get our secret out. We'll copy our bootstrap token and switch back to the Azure console. If we go over to our ACL tab and we paste in our token and hit save, we'll see the UI has resolved. And if we go to our nodes tab, we can see that our AKS cluster has successfully joined console. But what if we want to add virtual machines to our environment as well? Let's go ahead and switch back over to the CLI. And we'll use one more command. We're going to use the az hcs git config command, point at our resource group and the name of our cluster. This command is going to generate a configuration file and the certificate needed in order to join the cluster. If we cat this console configuration file out, we can see that all of the configuration details are available in this file that you would use to add to a virtual machine to join it to this environment as well. This allows you to get started with things like the service discovery use case, or even have those virtual machines join the mesh as well. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and add additional workloads to our environment and start with our service mesh. Make sure that you add the necessary intentions to allow communications across your environment, since with ACLs enabled, communications disallowed by default. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of getting started with the Azure CLI for HashiCorp console service. We hope you enjoy taking it for a spin and using console inside of Microsoft Azure.